Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi. Today I have my sister with me. Hi. She's gonna be helping me do the tamari no water. So let's get started. Let's get cooking. So let me switch the camera real quick. Here's our tamarindo peeled and washed. And then here's our one cup of sugar, two cups of water, our spatula, and then water if we need it, if we need more. And then we'll be back once I turn the camera around. Hi, Jay, it's right back. Okay, so we're back. We're gonna get our pot and take off the lid. Put it at the back. Now we're gonna get our tamarindo. And get the spatula. And get the spatula. And then I'm gonna get the tamarindo and put it into our pot. There you go. Now, my sister is going to be adding the one cup of sugar. Yep, here it is. You can add that. Now we're going to be using the water. The water. Here you go. It might be kind of soaky with the, with the sugar, right? Yep. And also make sure to like use your palparindo, like your tamarindo and put it like up like the water it has to be like a little bit up to the line i'll show you guys in a minute yep. and then i'll add the water there you go more water and then i'm gonna add a bit more Switch the camera for you guys can see our tamarindo. Okay, so here it is. And now let me show you over here. The little end. There you go. Now my sister is gonna be mixing it up. Mixing it up. Just a little bit. Yep, for it can be soggy. That's how it goes. The drinks, right? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna flip the camera again. Okay guys, so now she's mixing right now. I think that's enough mixing. So now I'm gonna take the spatula and you can put on the lid. And we'll add the spatula over here. Now we're gonna push it. Yeah, we're gonna push it to the back one. And we're gonna- it's dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous if you have like little siblings. Plus this might take like 30 minutes. Yep. That's a long time. So now I'm gonna turn on the stove and leave it there 30 minutes to heat up. So yep. we'll come back when it's done. Now we are already let it cook in the stove for 30 minutes and now we're gonna let it cool down. So now we'll come back when it's cooled down. Me and my sister just let this cool down. So yep. now we're gonna bring this forward. Yep. It's important need to take off the cap. Yeah. And, it's last. and right. if you have a matcha pot, use that to mash the tamarindo, or if not, use a tall cup and smash it. Mm -hmm. And you'll have a spoon, and you got to take out the seeds and lines. Yep. So we'll be back when we're done taking that. So I am done smashing the tamarindo. So what you had to do is you had your pot or pan, your pot, yeah. And then you had to smash with the cup. And I did that. And now I had to get another big space. And then you will use a sleeve. And then you will pass it. And then everything that was in here, you will go in here. And then the seed would stay in here. And then what you're gonna do now is put everything in the blender. Oh, and it has to be like puree. See? It's like puree. Now you have to put it in the blender. There we go. Put everything in the blender to be more mixed. So 
flavor. Okay. Now we're gonna put this over here. Then I'm gonna start embedding it. Here it is, filled almost at the top. So let's get mixing it into the blender. We're gonna get the blender out. So let's grab it. There it is. So now we're gonna uncap it. There we go. Look at that. Let me just get my spoon. And let's flip the camera again. So now I um, took it off. So now we're gonna put it in this container. So now I washed it. That's why it's wet, if you're wondering. So now I'm pouring it in. Make sure all of that is in. This is how it's supposed to look. Let me just move this. I'm gonna show you guys. So now what you're gonna do is you grab your water, how much water you want, and then like this, I'm using this much. And then what you're gonna do, if you have like small spoons, you can use that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get three tamarindos, three times tamarindo, fold like this. Like this is gonna be one. Then this one is gonna be two. Then this one is my last one. And then what I'm gonna do is get Three of my sugar. Three of my sugar. Okay, so now I'm gonna start pouring in my sugar. So I use this spoon and pour in my sugar. Okay, I add four of tamarindo and then three of sugar. Okay, so now we're going to put this and use this spoon to mix. And then, when you're done mixing, you can try it. And also, you can add how much sugar. I'm not telling you how much, I'm, I'm telling you how I am going to pour in. But you guys can pick how much. Because some people like a lot of sugar and some people don't like a lot. They like, like medium, little bit, and a lot. So you guys pick. You can keep trying until you get the perfect amount of sugar. So now we're going to try this. So first, let me flip the camera and show you guys how it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks. So now, I'm going to try it. I'm going to pour it into my cup and then show you guys how I like it or not. I'm going to pour it in. Let's just mix it one more time quickly. So now I'm going to try it. I don't like it, but I don't like it too much. So what I'm going to be doing is you can add more sugar to it or add more of your mix of tamarindo. So what I'm going to do, since I like more of tamarindo to taste more like tamarindo, I'm going to add two more. So here's one. And then here's the other one. 
So now I'm gonna start mixing it again. So now I'm gonna be pouring it in my cup and drying it again. That's good. Now I'm gonna try it. I think that's better. So that's how you make the marinda water. Hey guys, so I hope you like this video. So please subscribe and ring those post notifications and give me a huge thumbs up on all my videos. Hope you like all my videos. Bye.